Hey guys, what's up? It's Quandiff here, and welcome to RuneScape 3. Here we go, guys. I'm just going to be showing you my interface this, in this video, actually. So, we'll just go through it a bit. So, we'll start off with a normal French chat. I've just got that down in the bottom left, which is where I really want it. That's just the all chat with everything in it. So, you've got sort of your clan chat, guest clan chat, emotes, actually, is down here now, and your private chat all in this window. And I've actually made another window for just my friends chat, so I can talk to specific people in just this little window down here. Above that I've got my action bars with my HP, um, adrenaline, prayer and summoning points. That's all displayed here. And also now you've got um, pot um, spaces where you can put in some potions or food, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, moving over across, we've got friends down here. I've got my friends list down there. Prior abilities, which is really good for PVM, which I do a lot. That's just all there, really easy access with only a little bit of a, a scroll. Then I've got my backpack over here, normal layout, 4x4, four four, which is how I wanted it. And then also I've, on that same tab, I've got my skills. I thought that was a good place for it. You don't always need them up, but they're in a central location. And then above that, you got your equipment, which you can actually change this. If you put um, the names of all these tabs on small, that withdraws back and you can see a full picture of your character and what you're wearing as well as having the gear all around him. Then up here we've got your tiles, so you've got your different tiles to set up all your bars around the screen. And they're really helpful if you need some help definitely click on this RS3 help button and the settings that brings up everything. Anyway yeah normal mini map right at the top right everything's still there, you've got your compass, run, world map and home tally and then I moved over my XP counter over to here you've actually got this thing up here which is the world event which I don't actually think you'd be able to take off at this point but if you do want to take off your allegiance you just press F3 and it brings up this menu and you can click the little button over here which says display allegiance above your head so you can take that off really easy anyway guys we'll get into how to actually set this sort of stuff up so as you can see each one you can just move around with your mouse put it wherever you want and the main thing you use press escape and you've got your game settings right there so you click on your game settings you have got your normal stuff like audio you can turn everything off which is what I do you have got your songs down that way and you can or just use the sliders to move off whatever you want you've got your graphics options this is on actual full screen at the moment full screen resizable and you can change all your custom settings normally you got your controls, so such as key bindings, camera movements, keyboard sensitivity, action bar stuff. And you've also got your Windows navigation here. This is really helpful if you want to swap through anything nice and quickly, if you're doing PVM or anything like that. And then we've got your interface settings over here. You've got your skill counters, which display up here. That's where I've got mine. And you've got show the tracker. You can set your windows to a different transparency, which is good. Um, also, you've got your gameplay tab over here, just normal stuff. You've got your adventures log, which you can do this, which is really cool. And then you've got your other few things like one click um, accept aid, what right click reporting, familiar options, and tutorial mode. Also, over here, you've got house settings, which is odd place to put those, I think, but anyway, that's how they've got it. Anyway, go back to interface, and then you can go to edit mode. And this is your main part, so. Once we get into this, these advanced options, well there's one that's uh, 3D world editing, which is virtually your game screen. Now my game screen is set to just be right here, so everything behind my chat boxes and my um, inventory boxes and all that sort of stuff is not the actual game, it's not showing any game behind that, it's just in that re region. That's the same for the mini game one, as you can see here that's a bit more clear. I've set it just below it so it only shows a little bit which is really good. I think it looks the best and it doesn't leave any black spots if you just um, meet them up. Anyway, uh, the main one is really the gameplay HUDs. It's really important so you've got all the different things like your game dialogue where your chat will come up from NPCs. You've got your buffs and debuffs over here. I normally play on um, with uh, slim windows on the bars so that's why this is a little bit off center and the same with this one. Anyway over here you got your grave interface and your grave timer, so that sets right up there. You got your XP tracker, you can move all that sort of stuff. Move these out of the way really quickly. Also, you got your central interface, so stuff that just pops up, it'll be right in the middle for you. You've got your bank interface right here. 
behind that you've got your task complete which will pop up here your progress for your skills will pop up and also your new task will pop up right at the top you can all move everything there you can move around to wherever you want on your screen if you're playing on a smaller screen you have less space so I definitely definitely advise you to start playing on a full screen or a larger aspect ratio definitely do that but anyway guys that's pretty much it let's confirm that this is RuneScape 3 I'm Quantif, hope you enjoyed, hope this helps you in some way. Definitely leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content from RS3. Thanks for watching guys, later.